Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just like Pokemon, only with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Thousands of leagues below the ocean's surface, Professor Arthur Hawkins is about to happen upon one of the most significant discoveries in archaeological history. I have happened upon one of the most significant discoveries in archaeological history. Little does he know that an ancient evil is about to arise from the depths to conquer the world above. But enough about that. Here's Rex and Weevil. <laughs> Boobs. Oh yeah. <laughs> um boobies. Hey Weevil. <laughs> I bet you can't outrun your own farts. <clears throat> I totally can. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, dumbass. The farts are gaining on us. Ow! Uh. Ow! Fart knocker! Whoa. Uh. Check it out. This dude's like a Jedi or something. Yeah. <laughs> May the farts be with you. <laughs> or something. What a dork. Yeah, what a... Uh. His dual disc has a boner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about Yugi, guys. He hasn't been doing well in school lately. I think maybe the stress of being an anime protagonist is getting to him. I feel that. The whole saving the world thing really eats into your study time. I also have been struggling with my schoolwork. Kristen, that's because you're a freaking idiot. But my teacher gave me like a bunch of gold stars and an A plus in trying. I think we should go be aggressively friendly towards Yugi until his problem magically goes away. I'm glad we came up to the roof to have this conversation. Pharaoh, why did you just get up and leave in the middle of class? That teacher was a fool, Yugi. I already know everything I need to know about mathematics from playing card games. Okay, what's the square root of 16? Um, exodia obliterate. Uh-huh. And what's the equation to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle? F*** you, Yugi. That's what it is. Yug, what are you doing here at the museum? Well, in this town, it seems you either stare at ancient artifacts or play card games. Pretty limited options, really. Don't worry, Pharaoh. I wasn't worried. We'll come with you because we're your friends and we'll support everything you decide to do. I was also thinking about doing some of the drugs later. We support that decision. 420 blaze it. Something is compelling me to look at this ancient tablet. I think that's called sheer boredom. No, it's something far more powerful. Something plot related. Ancient Leviathan, hear my choir, the choir of doubts, the leader of the Oracomalos. Wake up and do some really crazy s, man. Oh, man. Yugi's hand is on fire. Stop, drop, and roll, Yugi's hand. I wonder what that was all about. That sounds like a commotion. Yes, definitely a commotion. <laughs> I am also afraid. Eh, real monsters! He's finally on Netflix, let's go home and watch it. Cartoons were so much better in the 90s. Now it's all that animu crap. Look, it's Rex and Weevil. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Dumb ass. That was cool. Uh, huh. Fire. Huh. Fire. Cool. They appear to be brain dead. They seem totally normal to me. Well, I'm sure the city can fend for itself. Let's go home and stare at the box that slowly devours our souls day by day. You mean TV? Uh, TV, yes. Shame about all those people dying. So, are we not concerned about the monsters attacking the city, or...? All over the world, children's trading cards are coming to life and causing untold devastation. Well, it was untold, but I just told you about it. So now it's told devastation. I hope the monsters destroy Switzerland. Those neutral motherfuckers. I never cared for them. We go now live to Seto Kaiba, who is holding a press conference. How the hell did you people get in my house? I'm not sure I like the rich douchebag channel. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! Grandpa, what happened? Are my god cards okay? And you, I guess. Three thugs came in here and stole them. And then they beat you up? No, there was a slight gust of wind and I fell down. <laughs> Look! It's the winged obelisk of Sky Dragons! Almost, Joey. Almost. It's the Biker Meister of 
from from Martian planet. Ah, I love you guys. Pharaoh, we've got your god cards. If you want to see them again. Wait, you had the opportunity to take my grandpa hostage, but you decided to take my cards hostage instead. We figured you had more of an emotional connection to these. You figured right. Don't duel them, Yugi. They're Martians. You don't know what they're capable of. Your days are numbered, Pharaoh. Damn it, Alistair. We agreed that I would do the monologuing. Can I just have the one line? Oh, you and I are going to have a conversation later. I'm Australian. Did those guys seem kind of lame to any of you? Yep, totally lame. Oh yeah, super lame. Definitely lame. Okay, good, so it's not just me. It's a good thing we had Teo with us, or we never would have tracked those guys here. My spirit guide has once again served its purpose. Welcome, Pharaoh, to the last card game you'll ever play. Yes, but only because I'm going to beat your bitch ass so hard that every other bitch ass duelist will retire in bitch ass shame. It'll be called the bitch ass retirement plan. Named after you, you bitch ass. Talk all you want. But soon your soul will belong to me. Behold! The seal of Orichalcos has us trapped. Whoever loses must forfeit their soul. Oh yeah? Well, my Millennium Puzzle has powers too. Check this out. Huh? What do you think about that? It just sort of... Lit up a little bit. Yeah. How is that useful? Oh, what, like you've never needed a reading light? I don't read. It also doubles as a mood ring. Right now it's showing you that my mood is currently pissed off at a bitch-ass duelist. Now, Pharaoh, remember when you said you weren't going to be such a huge jerk this season? Uh, when did I say that? After we fought Anubis. Who? The villain from the movie. What movie are you even talking about? Just try to be nicer, okay? Fine. Uh, hey there, guy. Let's have a nice, fun game of duel monsters. And, um, uh, get your game on? Uh, am I saying the right things? Eh, it's a work in progress. Hey, Pharaoh, try not to lose this game, or else your soul will be sacrificed just like these two punks. No! Not Rex and Weevil! They are my two favorite people in the entire world! As is that sarcasm? Not at all. I really like the joke where they are Beavis and Butthead. Now, I summon Obelisk the Tormentor. And with the power of the Orichalcos, its attack power is raised by 500 points. That's some OP bullshit right there. I mean, um, nice move, guy. Um, what should I call you, by the way? Look, man, I'm just an episodic villain. They didn't give me a name. Mind if I just call you bro, then? I actually mind that very much. Come on, bro, don't be like that. Dude. It's cool, bro. Dude. Brosif, Brosifine, Bro DiMaggio. Dude. What's up, bro? It's your turn. Oh, right. Thank you. You're being super helpful. And I like your little beard. Little? Master Darts is going to be pleased when we bring him the Pharaoh's soul as a prize. Maybe he'll throw us a party. There's not going to be a party. Not with that attitude. Dude? I've got shoulder pads. Hey, that guy kind of sounds like me. Really? Really? Yeah? 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 I activate Alpha, Beta, and Gamma the Magnet Warrior, whose attack power combined will totally waste your punk ass obelisk. Now what are you gonna do, Romeo and Juliet? I activate my magic card, the warrior returning alive. This card allows me to- Instead of telling me what the card does, would you mind explaining anything about yourself or why you're trying to kill me? But that would waste valuable time that could be spent explaining trading card functions. I think it's pretty obvious what a card called the warrior returning alive does. Oh yeah? Then what does it do, Mr. Smarty Pharaoh? Gee, I don't know. Brings one of your monsters back from the graveyard? Lucky guess. Nice job on Mr. Smarty Pharaoh, by the way. It's not often I hear the worst insult ever coined by a human being. Screw you, bro. Now, Dark Magician, who got it going on? Attack all his monsters and wipe out his remaining- Yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Master Darts, I have failed you. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure your bosses are merciful. No! Guy. Yeah, no, Master Darts is a notorious douche! Yeah, he once sucked out Channing Tatum's soul as a joke. That would explain a lot. Here, Pharaoh, take these. Apparently, wind resistance is just a silly myth. When you're ready, come and face us to reclaim your god cards. I'm ready now. When you're really ready. I'm totally prepared, man. You'll know when you're ready. Dude, I got this! 
Come down here and fight me! Let's just walk away awkwardly, guys. Do you guys remember where we parked? Australian words. Way to go, Yugi! You apparently killed a man, and all those monsters are still on the loose. Yes, I tied up all the loose ends. Now, let's get real high. Those weren't the real biker mice from Mars. <laughs> Isn't anybody going to help me up? Oh, there goes my bladder.